So they have like participation from them, and they have like two big projects uh, in cemetery and masonry. They have a, a research project, but in ninth grade they have like a life project where they can plan and see what they want to do with their life. But also in those projects, they involve the parents. Probablemente estos alumnos, hay muchos alumnos que son migrantes de este modelo de secundaria más que del modelo de secundaria de las ciudades. Sí, que es. Probablemente there are more immigrants in the, in the U.S. coming from this kind of education than the urban kind of. So it's more probable that someone ends up in a high school coming from here. It, it comes from this kind of uh, project and program from middle school. In my experience, because I work in or, uh, World Bank, World Bank uh, for these credits to Mexico with my wife. Yeah, the, the life project is about what he wants to do and career other. exploration. Yeah. <laughs> Estos cuatro momentos que es la bienvenida, en el cual el maestro hace un, una dinámica de integración para decir que se va a empezar a trabajar y para que se vayan integrando todos. El chico que va más avanzado se le conoce como tutor porque es el que va a apoyar al que va en los grados más bajos, el de tercero a primero, el de segundo a primero. Esto se so, so is the delivery of the instruction memorization? Is it is it that they have to learn these certain things, or is it more a collaborative learning experience? Uh, yeah, she's talking especially right now about that. Like the higher grades, uh, kids help to transfer the knowledge to the lower ones. So it's like. Uh, go to like a cycle or two. Okay, but my question is, is it more like a lecture where the teacher, even if it's a high school student teaching younger, is it the delivery of the information from a lecture, a presentation, and the children are supposed to memorize that? Or is it more discussion? More how do we how how do the teachers in the rural setting Get the children to understand what they're trying to teach Es colectivo, que ellos investigan, o sea, tenemos materiales, tenemos nuestra biblioteca, ellos investigan, ellos la traducen, la interpretan y, y la dan a conocer y solamente el maestro va orientando, que no se desvíen del tema, porque también es un chico que no maneja toda la currícula o toda la información, sino que él mismo va aprendiendo con sus alumnos. So, ¿Hay supervisado cada semana? Cada 15 días está supervisado. So the teacher uh, gives the student like a topic that they need to research. They have a library. So the students go and research and like process the information. Then they share the information to the other no, students. Okay. So they discuss it. And now that's totally different from the way we teach. But yeah, this is the rural version of but, but they just said that the majority of students that are trapped, yeah. ending up in our schools, mm -hmm. are using this model. So
So the fact that we have lecture a lecture, I'm going to fill your brain with my knowledge. Sage from the stage. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I think that that, because when I was on that committee, you know, most of the immigrant kids that were at Martin, they were trying to track them into special ed. And the parents were furious. And they would just leave the school. They would say, my, in, in, in school, they were the highest student. They were the best student. They were teaching other students. Mm -hmm. And here, you're going to say my child is special ed? Nos duele el alma porque pues llegan niños, la mayoría, han estado en este sistema de aprendizaje rural, ¿verdad? Colectivo, comunitario. Y llegan a las escuelas de Estados Unidos y lo que pasa es que pues, los maestros ven a estos niños, los, los miran en una, en una forma pues, negativa. Ah, están enfermos, ahí tienen una discapacidad. Y ese es el problema que tenemos. Muchos de estos niños que llegan de Centroamérica los están poniendo con discapacidad o que tienen discapacidades pero no tienen ninguna discapacidad exactamente, entonces lo que queremos saber es de cómo, cómo es que nosotros podemos tomar una copia, una impresión de este sistema para implementarlo, porque la mayoría de estos niños están este, no interesados pero están desprotegidos más, exactamente, acostumbrados a esta forma de no. Sí, nos queda claro. Vamos a acabar porque nos va a esperar. Ok. Ok. Este, tenemos dos tipos de actividad en la directa, que es donde el maestro trabaja directamente con el alumno, uh -huh. y la indirecta donde se trabaja con la hora de Y que no tiene que planear, si se fijan hasta el primero, segundo y tercero, una sola planeación para los tres grados, porque son las actividades que tenemos. Puede estar trabajando directamente con primero y tiene segundo y tercero con actividades indirectas. So uh, I think this is pretty important. Uh, the rural program is made this way because the teacher has to uh, split their time between both grades. So while well, he's given a kind of lecture to the, third, the seventh graders, uh, he or she needs to read the other grades, uh, learning between them and how many things that they do by themselves. So. Uh, it's the program is collaboratory because uh, it needs to be that way because there is only one teacher for the grid. So I think that's kind of cool. This is the black box. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Es a lo mejor lo que tendrían que tomar en cuenta para lo que los niños tienen que aprender. Si se fijan, es colaboración entre estudiantes, bueno, que sean instructores, maestros. Es el trabajo multinivel, es bien importante. Cada niño tiene su nivel de aprendizaje. El respeto a la paz individual. Aquí no podemos llevarnos a un mismo nivel. Cada uno va aprendiendo de acuerdo a su propio interés. Aprendizaje por cuenta propia. Yo voy a aprender hasta donde yo quiero muchas veces aprender más de lo que el maestro desea y la responsabilidad compartida es entre todos el autocontrol y autocorrección yo mismo me voy controlando me voy corrigiendo en el avance de todo esto que acuerdo a los aprendizajes y por último el aula es un espacio para el aprendizaje eso no se nos debe de unir sí, no es que, te, que sea memorístico que tengas que entenderlo completo, que dice que dos más dos son cuatro, un alumno puede decir que dos más dos no son cuatro y no lo puede demostrar. So she says this is the most important thing uh, about the rural program. These are like the foundations that uh, the first one is uh, the knowledge has to be collaboratory between students and the instructor, the teacher. Uh, the second one is uh, he or she has to make the, the classroom uh, like a good place to learn between all levels. Uh, he or she has to respect the advances, advancement that the students make in, as an individual. Like everyone is different and has to go to their own rate. The third is 
every, everybody needs to learn to learn by their own, like their own stuff. Yeah. No. Excuse me. Uh, the fifth is uh, is like share responsibility. Like uh, if someone sees that someone is struggling, everybody can help and make each other. We don't even allow that. That's called cheating. <laughs> Am I right? Exactly. <laughs> still have group. Well, the sixth one is uh, self-control and uh, self-correction. Like, you need to be out of And the seventh one is uh, consider the classroom as space to Propiciar, 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 foster, foster, foster the knowledge, learn. This one? Sí, los otros son, bueno, sí, estos son ya el libro que lleva, este se llama el libro multilingüe, donde le da la instrucción al maestro de cómo tiene que trabajar. Es que es una de las aulas rurales, sin sí, nada que ver con esas aulas y las que lo dicen. One chasm for uh, all towns. Only, only classroom. Yeah. So all the kids from the community go to that classroom. Mm -hmm. And that's like a workbook for the teacher, mm -hmm. where there are like guides and instructions for every grade. And they speak of the kids that you don't want to no, 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 no. So we have like uh, our last uh, federal president, Enrique uh, Peña Nieto. We had a program where they go to rural areas and they give them computers, but some of the areas where they were given computers, they don't have electricity. <laughs> so like, those are examples of classrooms in the rural areas. So the uh, classroom and classes they made like projects end up making like some of the sheets that are hanging there. So uh, the teacher tells them to hang in there so if they have any doubt or need to recall something, they go and grab it. So how, what is the, do they take written tests to prove their competency or is it up to the teacher to say they passed the grade? Como saben si un alumno aprobó o reprobó al primer presentar un examen o el maestro dice si pasado o no pasado o no, como es el teacher? Hay dos. Tenemos la evaluación formal, formal de base, que son los exámenes, y hay exámenes cada dos meses. Pero los exámenes los elabora el maestro de acuerdo a la aprendizaje del examen. O sea, cada dos meses tienes que poner, o sea, la gente dice por un examen, uh -huh. pero el examen es muy difícil. Tú lo haces. Okay. Sí. So, every two months, eh, the CEP, la Secretaría de Educación Pública, y usted. ¿De qué? Eh, they ask, they ask the teacher to and the students take the exam, but the exam is made by the teacher, so he or she can like that role. Y las pruebas de... También participamos en las pruebas de enlace y pista. Oh, son evaluaciones internacionales. So we have like international exam for enlace, where every every student at every level in, in like, Primary school and middle school takes, like rural, like urban, everyone takes it. Private schools and standard tests. Yeah, like standard tests. And they also take this exam. But that uh, isn't including those two battles. Uh, that, that doesn't have like value in their Salen abajo. En esas pruebas salen abajo. Porque no es la misma curricula. El examen internacional viene del modelo de. 
de la normal superior, o sea, de, de un modelo de ciudad, de, de ciudad moderna. ¿sí? Y entonces estos alumnos, al, al momento de evaluarlos, salen abajo. Hay, hay excepciones, hay excepciones, pero salen abajo. Porque en la estos internacionales son basados en los programas urbanos. Así que estos programas son diferentes, pero tienen un problema para hacer los requisitos. So how hard is it for a, a rural student to make a transition? They move to the city for work, and then they end up in this classroom. <laughs> He said he struggled, but he said he struggles. But he said he struggles. He said he struggles. He said he struggles. She, she says that uh, it's not that they part because the knowledge that they have is part because they work in a different way. Nor the knowledge they don't have what they have. Y, en ocasiones, eh, de, estas, de estos modelos han salido mejores en alguna vez en Nuevo León y en Guapila. Yeah, there are examples of students that came from a rural program and they have better grades than kids that So in the pedagogy and delivery of instruction in the public middle school, is that lecture? Is it stage for the break? What is it? Stage. 